Hola, buenas tardes. Good afternoon, my beautiful people. Welcome back to the channel. I'm so glad you could join me for yet another planner video. It's your girl, Daniela, aka Miss Four Lizard, aka the planning diva. And today I'm gonna be planning in my happy planner. This is my mega happy planner. She is my baby and today I'm going to be decorating my household section which is actually a dashboard style and um, these pages are from the Adventure Awaits Desert Dreams dashboard planner from the happy planner i'm going to be decorating uh, the first week of october here so if you're interested in checking it out i'm also going to be just flipping through my planner and showing you my current october planner setup in this happy planner um, so if any of that sounds interesting to you just keep on watching So I'm still sticking with my You Are Made to Bloom floral cover and my metal gold expander discs here. And the cover page, I'm still sticking with my cover page here for October. I went with this like constellation galaxy theme and I've been really enjoying it. I have my yearly calendar, my yearly overview pages, um, those are still staying the same. And then I just have a section with my envelopes and folders that I use to store stickers and craft paper and sketchbook paper. So those are still staying there. I've been really loving what I did here with the scrapbook paper um, that I got from a fall pack uh, from last year. Just been loving the fall themes, like the fall motifs throughout this planner. I even moved all of my sticky notes to this fall themed scrapbook paper. I've just been really enjoying that. And as always, I have my little table of contents kind of outlining all of the planners in my planner solar system and what I use them for. That's there. and. Um, so far I just have that there without anything else in this section. I kind of have this section for like any like bullet journal type spreads that I've been thinking of doing. Um, but I just haven't really thought of anything else I wanted to add in here. Um, but following that section, I just have more scrapbook paper dividing that section from this section, which is the section where I have all of my hourly schedules. And these hourly schedules are from a Disney Oasis uh, accessory pack. And I actually uh, made my own daily agenda sheets using the grid paper on the back of those because um, they just came with the agenda section on the, on the first half of it. So I just have hourly schedules in this section and I tend to leave them in because I like to use the back of, of the agenda sheets as other like my own agenda sheets and so I have those in there. So this is what the uh, the back of those agenda sheets looks like if you if I don't, you know fill them in but I've actually used up all of these agenda sheets and so on Monday I think I'm gonna go ahead and start using the ones that I made myself and then we just have more scrapbook paper um, separating my agenda sheets from this is my first planner section this is my affirmations planner and I've already gone ahead and moved in all of the new months here so this is um a skinny mini planner and it's the month of october here i don't really use the uh, calendar page for this um, i just use the weekly pages but this is my affirmations planner and i tend to write an affirmation every single day it takes me anywhere from 30 seconds to you know a minute or two to write an affirmation every day and i don't even write one every single day i sometimes you know write one every two days or so and it's just a an exercise for me um, to think about something really positive to try to embody the affirmation and I've been thinking about making this a prayer uh, a prayer planner so to write down a prayer every single day or every other day or you know how many days I decide to work in this so I'm thinking of experimenting with it and making it a little prayer slash affirmation planner um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and try to do that this month and see how I feel about that 
So there's my first planner section. And because it's such a tiny little planner, I have the scrapbook paper, um, the scrapbook paper just kind of like holding it in place and making sure that like I know it's there and it doesn't get lost in 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 the whole you know planner solar system it's such a tiny little planet it's like my mercury in my solar system and then we just have more scrapbook paper i really have enjoyed i really have enjoyed um using all types of fall themed scrapbook paper in this planner um to celebrate the season and then my next section is my bedtime routine section and my sleep logs this is where i just uh tend to uh, keep track of how much I'm sleeping and my mood and it just I am such a huge advocate of good sleep hygiene so it definitely helps me to kind of make sure that I am taking good care of myself in terms of sleep and then my next section is my academic section this is my career section and I have this cute little title page this tongue-in-cheek title page here more fall scrapbook paper that I really really love and then this is something I did uh, earlier this week, I made a little class schedule for this quarter. So as a graduate student, I don't really have classes like you would think of classes in the traditional sense, but because I work so well in a structured environment, I tend to make my own classes and I give them names and, you know, days and times that I'm supposed to be in that class. And I just go ahead and live my life like that because as an academic, as a graduate student, I really don't have a set schedule. I don't have a set work time that I need to work in. And so it really helps me to kind of block out chunks of time and say, I'm gonna work on this project, like on this day. And so if I have a very consistent schedule of when and where I'm working, it does help me. So I made my little class schedule here. And let me pull this out here. I don't know why I have this paper clipped in. And so this is my class schedule. I have what that class schedule looks like kind of in a calendar view here on the back of it. And then I just have another scrapbook paper. Um, and I actually am supposed to paper clip these two in here. So this is my October overview page. And then this is my October divider and my October calendar view. And then this is the first week in October that I've already gone ahead and started planning for. And then I just have uh, the rest of the month here and then the overview for the next month here. And then another divider separating the next section, which is my community service section, which is a vertical style planner and I haven't decorated it for the upcoming week and I'll do that later, but we have another section. Um, this is my current events section. I tend to uh, journal about things that I hear on the news in this section. It helps me kind of keep on top of, um, you know, top of national and international affairs. And then this next section here is my fitness section. I've already kind of set up my uh, overview, my monthly overview page. And then I've already also set up the week, um, the upcoming week here and we just have the extra pages there and then this is the section i'm going to be working in today we have my scrapbook divider and then we have um, the monthly overview which i use paper clips so that way it can just go straight to the overview and i don't have like this random like weekly view um, in between those and then i just have the october divider here for my household section this is the how uh the calendar view and then this is the upcoming month here i have my bookmark that says start each day with a grateful heart and a little pug sticker that says good morning and i also have a grocery list here um this is just groceries that i have in my pantry and fridge at the moment so this little list just helps me decide what I have in stock and that way I don't have to, um, I don't have to think about what I have. I actually don't have avocados, don't have red onions anymore. Let's see what else, oatmeal figs, hazelnuts. Mm, okay, I think that's, I still have all of the other stuff. Okay. Oh, I don't have whole milk anymore. So I'm gonna go ahead and decorate um, these pages here. I'll pull them out and let's get to decorating. Okay, so I don't really have a vision for this spread. I know that I want to have some fall themes in it. So I have this 
Recollections sticker book, which is like a, a fall themed sticker book that I got at Michael's recently. Um, they just came out with these and they're really lovely. I really have enjoyed using these. I also have a bunch of Happy Planner stickers from previous fall sticker books that I've collated into this um, the sticker book here. I also have some color block and Mickey Mouse stickers and some of the Oasis stickers because I just kind of want to get rid of these. Um, I, yeah, I just, I just kind of want to finish them up. So this is going to be a very like hodgepodge spread and I don't mind that at all because honestly I'm just trying to, you know, work my way through all of my stickers and um, yeah, so let's just start plopping things down and having fun with this. And before I do anything, I'm gonna white out this bills to pay and the calls emails section because I don't use those sections. There was some washi tape here that I kind of wanted to pull for. This one that says, hello fall. I'm gonna get this truck with the pumpkins. Put that on. Let's put that on Thursday. I'm gonna also get this bucket of apples. Put that on. Put that right here. Maybe this person here with the umbrella and the leaves falling in the air. I really don't have a lot of fall stickers left in this book at all and I'm, that is so exciting to me because I just have so many stickers that um, that it's I can't I feel like it's gonna take me forever to get through it's so easy to buy sticker books and uh, so so hard to, to use them up sticker with the coffee fall is definitely like I love um, my coffee in fall it's like such a like cozy thing to me is to have my coffee So with the dashboard, I really like the dashboard for household. I think for a household, it is the best planner style because it has these um, pre-built, pre-made errands and two buy sections. And it also has the bills and the calls and email section if you have those. But because I tend, I have a whole budget section for bills already and also calls and emails, I tend to, I don't really use the calls and email section because those for me tend to be more work related and go into my work planner. There are times where I need to do a call in, or an email for my household stuff. But in that case, I tend to just put it in errands as opposed to having a different call and email section separately. So I use the errands and the to buy section for sure as you know, as they're meant to be used. And then in these, these two boxes here, they're kind of like my free boxes, as well as this focus on section, I tend to just play with these three sections. Um, you know, I experiment with them a lot. Sometimes I use them as a section to write out my morning routine. Sometimes I use these boxes to have habit trackers in them. 
so far for the last couple of weeks I've been really enjoying them as a section to uh, habit track as well as like morning slash evening routine um, brainstorming so that's what I do in these sections and then in this section up here which is kind of like an outline of the days I play around with the section as well lately I've been enjoying using this as like a little meal planner section so I decide like what is gonna be like my lunch for every day here in this section because for me lunch is the bigger the biggest meal of the day and so I tend to have like my lunch plans there and then the actual days themselves are for chores or anything that I need to get done that day so I'm gonna try to find a sticker to kind of label this box up here. I call it the lunch box, um, just to be cute. So let me try to find a sticker to label that. And just for fun, I'll add Mickey Mouse right there, looking happy that those apples are juicy and ready to be in. So I think that's it. Um, and just for kicks, I'm gonna add this happily grateful sticker. Maybe I'll put this up here. Oops. And just for fun, I'm gonna add this little plan, plan, plan Disney sticker there at the top. Let's see if I can zoom in a little closer. And for the last thing that I'm gonna do, I have this Happy Planner Habit Tracker pack that I got at Joann's. And I'm gonna grab some Habit Trackers here. Mm, let's see. What do I wanna use? Maybe I'll use this one, this Daily Habits Tracker. Because I tend to track three habits um, at a time in this section. I think three is a good number of habits to track because I think any more and I would go insane. So I'm gonna put that there. And the habits I tend to track and sometimes these habits switch up depending on my needs but right now the habits that I've been like the most concerned about making sure I'm doing uh, consistently is walking my dog, um, doing my makeup, and flossing and brushing my teeth uh, twice a day at least. So for the errand section, I tend to roll over any chores that I didn't do this previous week. Sometimes that happens. I'll have a whole list of chores and then maybe a few I won't, you know, get to. And so they'll roll over to this week. And also as the week progresses, I tend to add chores that I need to do. Sometimes I'll be at work and I'll, I'll, I'll think, oh, I need to do X, Y, and Z. And so that I don't forget it, I'll write it down in this section. Same with the buying list. I tend to roll over any items that I didn't purchase and I still need to from last week and as the week progresses, I'll write down anything that I need to buy just so I don't forget. I don't really feel like adding anything in this box. I think it'll be fine to just have empty space here. And on this focus on section, I think I'm gonna go ahead and uh, write out my um, my morning routine so that way I, I I'm still trying to perfect my morning routine and get it to where I want it to be so I've been using this space to kind of brainstorm and set out my morning routine and see um, you know throughout the week how that morning routine goes for me so I'm gonna go ahead and write out my morning routine here And there we have it. 
probably off camera, I'll go ahead and write down my errands, the things I need to buy, as well as my meals for the week. And if there's any errands that I wanna do on a particular day, like if I wanna do laundry on Wednesday or Thursday, I'll go ahead and make a note of that. Um, you know, at some point in the evening when I'm kind of looking through my planner and if there are any chores that I want to do on a particular day, like let's say I want to do laundry on Wednesday or Friday, I'll go ahead and write that down um, as I decide to do that. And, and I think this is it. I think this is the final spread. For me, my spreads tend to be, I feel kind of empty feeling whenever I finish the video because I'm the type of planner that I don't you know, sit down and film a, a plan with me and do a spread and decorate it and then I'm done with it. I'm not gonna continue working on it. I tend to like lay down a foundation for me to kind of work off of. And then as the week progresses, as the days go on, I tend to obviously like write in the planner and I also continue to decorate it because um, a lot of the times I, I just kind of want to leave space open for myself to write and to have room to write. And when I see that, you know, I don't need to write a lot this week or these couple of days, I tend to go back and decorate a little bit more. So I generally, for me, planning and decorating my planner is a very like continuous process. It's not something that I just sit down and film and then it's done and then all I do is fill it in and write in it. That's not generally how I function as a planner. And so um, I tend to just kind of like put down a baseline decoration and um, continue to work off that as the week progresses. But I'm really happy with the spread. I've been more and more kind of gravitating towards a little bit more cleaner, minimal, like, um, not that this is minimal. <laughs> I've been gravitating more towards a little bit more of like wide open space and prioritizing my writing as opposed to the decorative stickers. Cause I tend to feel like I run out of writing space a lot more um especially if i'm using a lot of stickers and it is really frustrating for me when i don't have the space to write in my planner <laughs> so i tend to uh i've been uh, i've been definitely taking kind of a step back when it comes to stickers anyway i hope you enjoyed this plan with me let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and i'll catch you in my next video bye